This is Elite Dangerous through the lens of the HP Reverb and I can just tell you it looks stunning. Stay tuned because much more is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and if this is your first time here, if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me and if you appreciate independent reviews, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so don't miss anything. So here it finally is. You wanted it, you got it. Elite Dangerous through the lens of the HP Reverb and check out how clear everything looks, how perfectly you can read that text, how amazingly sharp everything looks like. It is it is simply a dream and I can just tell you again, it looks even so much better when you wear the headset because this year now is 2D, but if you're in the headset, everything is in perfect 3D, you are in the perfect sweet spot and everything even looks better. But look at the smoke here, how clearly you can see the smoke coming up here. And uh, wow, it simply looks stunning. Even the first scene here, where you only have to choose what you actually want to do, already looks great. So if in this video you see some artifacts or some problems with the video, well, it is not really dangerous. It's not the HP Reverb. It is the way that I record this with my smartphone. Sometimes it doesn't really get all this goodness as it is, but it's still one of the best ways to actually record through the lens videos I have found out. So I think you will get a good idea of how good that looks. But now let's check something else. So this is the first training mission. And if it does look a bit grainy here, the darks, again, that is my smartphone. It cannot quite pick up the darks so well, but I can tell you the darks are really, really dark and um, probably here because you're wondering how good are the black levels? Do the black levels look good? And I can tell you they are actually great for an LCD display. And I was pretty surprised how good the blacks look like and how amazing the colors look like with the HP Reverb. So I can tell you directly, if I directly color compare it with the Rift S, the HP Reverb does look better also what the blacks are concerned. So if you are probably coming from, let's say the Rift, the original Rift, you won't feel like this looks in any way bad as what the blacks are concerned. Look at how great everything looks here. Wow, it's, it's just so nice and here, <laughs> I went out of the headset to uh, yeah to actually do some controlling so that we get into the next stage. Sorry for that, but well, it's so tough to record that. And now <laughs> we are back. So yeah, there's a little proof that this was really actually taken through the lens. Okay, so yeah, look at look at this. Nice, really, really nice. So, as I told you, the black levels are really good. I don't think you will have any problems with the black levels. Well, if you A, B compare, it can still not compare to these really good OLED panels like, uh, well, the, the Samsung Odyssey or the Vive Pro. But for an LCD display, the blacks are really, really nice. And again, I don't think you will have problems coming from the original Rift. Actually, I think you will enjoy the colors, you will enjoy the screen, and of course, you will enjoy this incredibly high resolution, 2160 times 2160 pixels per eye. Wow. Compare that to the 2200 times 1080 pixel per eye of the original Rift. That is pretty amazing. And we have three subpixel for every pixel instead of two subpixel for every pixel for the OLED Pentile displays, like for example, the original Rift. And it does show, it does show, it looks so amazing. You can read all the text perfectly. And uh, yeah, again, it looks even better than this through the lens video, right? Because again, you can't really, yeah, record all this goodness through the lens. It is really, really tough to do through the lens videos. But the most important thing here is that you get 
an idea of how good that looks. Like the text here, for example, how sharp all the text is. You can read everything perfectly. It is just so good and so much fun. If you have not already watched my full HP reverb review, then why don't you do so now or after you watch this video? Because, well, I spend a lot of time on that review and you should watch it if you consider to buy the HP Re Reverb. So what I'm doing now, I'm going from the left edge to the right edge, still going, just to show you like um, what kind of yeah big sweet spot actually there is. So I went from the left edge to the right edge of the lens just to show you like, hey, the sweet spot is actually pretty, pretty nice. But now let me show you something else. So this is another mission here and on the left now you see the black of the space and well my phone did have some problems picking this up so you see it's like refocusing and well artifacting but it does look really good really dark in reality and just see how clearly everything looks like how sharp how nice this di display is and again you can't really see this problem of Mura when you're in the game, right? This is what I told you in the full review of the HP Reverb as well. There is Mura, like these problems with the screen where some parts are brighter and some parts are darker. If you see like the same color, actually, if you're supposed to see the same color, but in game, you cannot tell. You simply cannot tell and it looks like this. So I'm really excited to find out what you guys think about how this looks like. Look at this pipe. <laughs> Even this pipe <laughs> looks so amazing. Oh my goodness. So please do let me know in the comment section what you think of the clarity of the HP Reverb here. And if you're considering to get one, probably replacing your, your ori original rift perhaps or are you considering to get the rift s instead please do let me know what yeah which which headsets you're considering or probably the 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 samsung odyssey plus for 299 which is an amazing offer if you're wondering which of the three to get probably have a look at one of my latest videos where i compare them side by side the hp reverb against the rift s against the samsung odyssey plus and um, yeah then you will know every little detail about these three headsets but honestly speaking if you want the best picture that you can get in vr right now it is the hp reverb so definitely a great headset especially for sim players without a doubt and here it is. This is the scene from the very beginning of the video and it's simply amazing, breathtaking. I love it. I could just be in VR and look at this all the time. And again, it looks even way better in VR when you're really wearing the HP Reverb as compared to this through the lens video that is only 2D. To see this in 3D is just so good and it looks perfect in the HP Reverb. It just looks as if you're looking at that thing if you're sitting in that uh, yeah, spaceship and looking at it. It is great and I cannot make, I cannot do justice to how good this looks with this through the lens video but you do get an idea of how great that looks. So yeah, it's a big thumbs up for Elite Dangerous players and the HP Reverb. I believe that Elite Dangerous players are going to have a great time. And again, look at this pipe. I like this pipe. This pipe is very nice. So now we got Elite Dangerous and I think now it's time for a sim racer. I've showed you DCS and Explain 11 and Elite Dangerous now. I think now it's time for a racer. What do you want to see? Project Cars 2 or iRacing, please do leave your comments in the comment section below and the one that gets more votes, as in comments, will be shown on this channel. So do make sure that you leave your comment. Do you want to see iRacing or Project Cars 2? 
do leave your comments in the comment section below. That's everything that I got for this video. I truly hope that this was interesting for you, helpful for you. If yes, don't forget the thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now and click on the bell button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. That's everything and I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.